I don't think we need to introduce Marco anymore, but we can maybe start by looking at his drum kit. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, So, but we should say something because uh, maybe there are new viewers who don't know. We've been working with uh, Marco Minemann. Yeah. Uh, and he's been doing the drums on several of our songs. He looks like this. Yeah. I mean, Your Ashes and Fire is the only song released where he's doing the drumming. But yeah. uh, we have uh, been collecting songs here in the background for the album. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so he's a frequent drummer on the, the Very First Stereo album. Yes. I think we have done maybe eight or nine tracks yeah. so far, maybe, with yeah. him on drums. <gasps> But still, uh, much to do, and at least some something to do with the songs mm. before they are totally finished. So let's start from the top, and uh, we will uh, have a look at this song and his drumming, and uh, yeah, we will just discuss it a little bit. I mean, we are not super uh, uh, super drummers ourselves or uh, nerds no, about no, drumming, no, so no. Uh, we'll just. Uh, Try to comment what's happening. Yeah, uh, but but we thought to do it a little different this time. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when we have something to say, we will pause the drumming. So yeah, uh, yeah. And then uh, if there's something we need to discuss that we have already seen, we can just rewind. Sure. And discuss it more. Sure. And uh, if you have any comment uh, regarding this video, please uh, use the chat. Yeah, sure. If you have thoughts on the drumming as well. Yeah. So you can be your own pro now on commenting <laughs> drums. Yes. Or your own critic. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to pause quickly yeah. because my my first thought when I heard this intro with the drums doing these little things, but still um, there's power in it, yeah. was that, you know, how they start some rock shows, concerts uh, where the light is flickering and uh, um, the band is coming on to the stage uh, and everybody's maybe introducing uh, their instrument with the yeah. little part. So that was my first thought when I heard the intro like this. Yeah. And we also had a, an idea, we discussed it, that uh, maybe this could be like the intro for the album as well. Yeah, it could be, yeah. It's like when uh, we start singing, you introduce yourself a little yeah. bit, I introduce myself a little bit, Marco comes in and introduce himself with a bit of drumming mm. and maybe we can build on that yeah and each musician can uh, introduce himself a mm -hmm. little bit mm. uh, and here mark is doing that by he, doing he, this uh what should we say bombastic drumming yeah so let's go ahead There's so much energy. That's yes. Tom there. I know. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's a little. I think it's uh, his kit is a little bit different, or maybe what I'm used to at least. Because you see, the biggest uh, Tom here is on the left. Maybe that is uh, usually like you have it. But uh, I mean, if you have a simpler kit, mm. like the lowest Tom, it's usually 
on the far right side. But, but he has some, some yeah, tom there as well. So this must be uh, a special one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what, what he calls this. Uh, I will think about it, see if I can. Okay. Because he names the track. We he get like 16 tracks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see if, let's come back because to that. Because you can see that he has microphones uh, for almost every drum here. Yeah. Some of them are visible. And then he has the overhead microphones. Yeah. You can just see the stands for it. Yeah, so a lot mm. of energy on that drum. A lot of energy. Yeah. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Did you see the hi hat? Yeah, I think like, he he wanted. Like muted it. Yeah. Okay. On the fly. <laughs> That was awesome. quite cool. Yeah, yeah awesome. <laughs> I sometimes see some drummers use this, uh, maybe in death metal or something, in song starts like, dj, 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 and they mute it ah, like that. Yeah, okay. uh, but, but he's uh, taking it uh, a little bit further and muting also the hi-hat. <laughs> <sighs> That's interesting. <sighs> And I mean, one thing we really like is that he adds all these little fills. So uh, he, he really pays attention to what happens in the song. Yeah. And then he does these little things that just leads it on. Yeah. So, yeah. And one thing I also recognized, if I rewind a little bit, it's, uh, I think it's even more in the song later, but uh, you can see all these uh, rhythms that he does on, on, mm -hmm. on the hi-hat and mm -hmm. cymbals. I, I really it just, like it. And it, it gives a, a room. Yeah, and also, I mean, we program drums or use drum loops or something, mm. a mix of everything. Yep. And Santa Marco, he, and he makes uh, something similar, I would say. Yeah, like, I mean, he ta takes in what we've done yeah. and he uh, copies some of the rhythms, yeah. but he, he makes it more alive yeah. and he adds his yeah. own style to it. And, and I think... Many of those drum loops uh, there are usually hi hat loops or something like that that is that yeah, is playing. That's true. And I think maybe he's picking up some of those uh, not exactly the rhythm, but maybe he's getting a little bit inspired okay. in doing those hi hat mm -hmm. rhythms. I'm not sure. And I think you can notice here on the second verse, uh, because this was the second verse, that yeah. there is even more energy yeah. uh, than compared to the first one. So mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's really good at making the song grow. Yeah. And playing playing much on the toms here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, th that's the way he's uh, interpreting our music, to play much on the on the toms. And we want them to be like bombastic sometimes yeah, and epic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think it's... Uh, it's also because of us. What yeah. We tell. Yeah, sure. It, it's almost. It would be interesting to to uh, study some of the other songs he does, just to yeah. compare. Uh, yeah. Maybe we should do a yeah. a separate video for that. <laughs> oh, <really good. laughs> Start. Oh, I like that.
I've listened to this uh, song quite much, or this take. We actually got two takes. Yeah. And we like this take best. Uh, not totally sure why, but it surprised us the most of the two takes think, that we I got. I think there is more energy in this. Yeah. It's a little bolder. Yeah. And then take two. Yeah. Yeah. So we won't listen to take two, but this is take one. But I don't know what it is, but I really like this part when, when it's uh, more quiet here and he's doing something on the kick. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay. It's like jumping. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing more to it. Just just that part. Yeah. I just want to comment one more thing here okay. <laughs> that I really like about it. Uh, it's like uh, if I would play the, play the drums, <laughs> okay. I would do something like a hi-hat rhythm. And then uh, when the bridge or something else starts, mm. I will just make a feel do, 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 and then start yeah. the build up to the chorus or bridge or anything. But he's doing something really interesting here, I think. He's doing like the build up and then, and then he does a pause or something. And then... But comes the bridge. We heard him do that on other songs as well. So, like forcing the clockwork. Yeah, he, he does that same trick, and, yeah. and it's it really gives power to the next section when yeah. you start. So it's a it's a cool move. Yeah. So actually, when we were in the studio and mixed forcing the clockwork, mm. he did like this, and then a pause, and then the chorus. Yeah. But he didn't do that on the last uh, chorus. No. And we kind of felt, oh, there's something missing here. Uh, we felt that uh, after the after the bridge, uh, there was so much power in the bridge. So yeah. when we moved to the last chorus, uh, it didn't feel like it topped the bridge. Yeah. And, yeah. and you wanted to feel even more power yeah. there. So then we fixed a little bit. Yeah, we tweaked we a bit. Tweaked, muted the uh, muted or mm, faded some yeah, of the tracks, yeah. that part. And we build that space in yeah, silence. Yeah, we did. We did, yeah. And then when we started to listen to the song from the beginning, I'm talking about a different song than this yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Then we heard he, he was actually doing that earlier in the, yeah, in the so, song. Yeah, so, so it was a, a nice move. Yeah. It's, it's like it, that um, thing is repeating itself in that song, just different ways. Yeah. So that was really cool. Yeah. So it's the same thing here. Well, I just want to add one yeah. more thing, uh, because uh, we... Uh, we credited Marco uh, and, and told him that we really enjoy working with him. And yeah. he said that he really liked working with our music because we give him a lot of creative space. Yeah. And I think that is our working style yeah. because we realized that uh, out of us three, he's way better on yeah. drums than we are. So it's better to just feed him some ideas yeah. and then let him some ideas, some do his thing. It's not. Um, I, I guess he he's working with other musicians as well, and mm -hmm. maybe they. I mean, there's all the kind of people. Maybe he's getting. That would like, be the full scale. <laughs> sheet notes <laughs> that he needs to play. So maybe this is mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. a relieving for him also. <laughs> yeah, just to let go of it. But let's just rewind a little bit and see if we can listen to that pause again. Yeah, sure. Just find it. Sure. Let's see. I'm not sure. Oh, just a little bit more. <laughs> You're not going to miss this one. That's it. That's it. <laughs>
Did you like the drumming? And if you did, don't forget thumbs up. Yeah. And please post your comments as well, if you have them. Yeah, tell us what you thought about Marco's drumming. Yeah. And to not miss out on videos like this from us, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Hmm? Bye-bye. Bye.